We've uh, continued to track uh, the, the COVID uh, spread of the country uh, or across the country and look at how it's being handled at so many different levels. One of the states which has done exemplary work in the fight against COVID-19 is the state of Kerala. As we try and look at what the center may or may not do in terms of uh, apportioning funds, sizable funds to fight this at the national level, let's also look, for example, at what Kerala has already done. We're joined at this stage uh, by... Uh, uh, by the Finance Minister of Kerala, Dr. Thomas Isaac. Thanks very much, sir, for being with us. 20,000 crore rupees is something which you have already apportioned uh, in Kerala. Uh, how is that money being distributed? What exactly are the priority areas with that fin financial commitment? And uh, Now, let me very, make it very clear. Uh, the state governments face a very hard budget constraint. You cannot independently borrow. You cannot, um, your source of funds are very limited. And therefore, what we have done is, we have front-loaded our permissible borrowing for the next year. We have permitted some uh, 27,000 crores of uh, market borrowing, of which we are going to take uh, some 12,000 crores in the month of April itself. This plus certain expenditures from uh, the cooperatives, uh, NREGS, and also um, the additional borrowing by Kudumbasri self-help groups, uh, that would total into 20,000 crores. So essentially what we have done is, you know, this, the challenge in now, Everybody is quarantined in their houses and therefore what is out most important is that uh, you put some money into the hands. They need to have their daily expenditures, uh, no work there. So what do you do? How do you get the money into the hands? Uh, our simplest income transfer scheme is old age pension and handicapped pension, widow pension and so on. 55 lakh yeah. um, persons. Uh, are entitled to uh, 1,200 rupees per month. Yeah. So we are going to pay them six months of pension payments uh, at, a, at one go. Yeah. Um, so some 2,400 end of March, and then they would be paid uh, rest of it uh, before or around 15th of April. So and that's how many one people big would go. this affect? The 2,400 Secondly, there are a lot payment? of ideas Dr. Isaac, the 2,400 rupee payment would affect how many um, people directly? Uh, 55 lakh people. 50, 55 lakh people. That's incredible. 55 That's a huge lakh number of people, of people which brings in, uh, immediate relief. We have got a 3.2 sure. crores of population. Do Dr. Isaac, yeah. there's another scheme which you've done yeah. which I found really interesting. That's the it. distribution of rice uh, is being done on uh, free rice available to anybody regardless of their economic status for a period of one month. Uh, I'm just curious to understand why have you not right. restricted this to uh, people who are more poor who may not have the financial means of, of getting <laughs> this rice? Why have you given it to everybody? It's, 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 it's fascinating uh, that you would choose to do that. Now, one People may not understand, Kerala, we introduce universal rationing, statutory rationing, not to help the poor alone. It's because of chronically food deficit state. Uh, we produce only 15% of our food requirements in Kerala. Uh, otherwise, we grow commercial crops. And therefore, even if you are rich, you may not get the rice. And therefore, now we are not going to pick and choose. We are going to see that everybody, every household in Kerala gets a free ration and 15 kilos uh, uh, per family. Now, that's one. There's a, another, yet another major intervention. Yes. Uh, we are starting, I think, within one week, there will be in Kerala at least 1,000 community kitchens, one in every panchayat of Kerala. Now, where food will be available, meal would be available at 20 rupees uh, per meal. You can send an SMS, a WhatsApp message, and food will come to your house. Now, there are many people who cannot afford even 20 rupees. To them, we will supply it free. Mm -hmm. uh, th this, I think, is something fantastic. What now, about loans, sir? We are in the process of setting up this community kitchen. 
Uh, and loans we have 2000 crores is the overall That's one of the first thing we did how, we how, how are you dispersing state level yeah. and, and who is oh, who is eligible it. for the loan you are asking about that. yeah okay now you see we have got uh, one of our strength in kerala is that we have very widespread uh, community network of uh, women neighborhood groups they are called kudumbasri neighborhood groups um, it encompasses uh, uh, nearly 32 lakh households in Kerala. Okay, that's the number. Each household is represented by a woman in the household. Now, uh, this has been functioning since the start of decentralization process. That's very powerful. Their re repayment uh, record is 99%. Right. Therefore, you ask the bank, provide more money they were willing to because it's government guaranteed money and the record is 99 percent therefore we are sourcing the money from the banks uh, nine and banks are willing to lend it's because safe, the record it's safe is to give good. these loans is and what therefore sure. we are now pumping in other 2000 crores sure one final yes, question to you dr isaac yeah. uh, it will go to this three uh, one yeah. one final question to you dr isaac the lockdown across the nation uh, what are your views on yes. that and secondly, what the Prime Minister has said that as an initial step, about 15,000 crores uh, will be put away primarily for health, to, to shore up our, our, our health defences. Your thoughts on these two, these two moves, uh, the lockdown and the initial amount which has been expressed? Now, this is necessary. We wasted a hell of a lot of time having new solutions for COVID, uh, like uh, uh, cow's urine therapy, or uh, theories that uh, summer is going to see a natural end to COVID epidemic, and so on and so forth. Um, now, everything has been put to an end, that this is an epidemic which cannot be controlled in normal ways, and this is the only way, shutting down, right. that you can break the chain. Uh, that is the experience of Italy, that is the experience of Spain, China, and therefore nobody can protest with being done. But what I would protest is, now you are doing it all of a sudden. You should have made the preparations. 60% um, um, of the population uh, consists of uh, daily wage laborers of how daily earnings. You just quarantine them, deny them the jobs, how are they going to survive? Therefore, minimum I expected from the Prime Minister was that along with this <coughs> national lockdown, he would declare uh, some things which are very simple. Okay, you provide free food to everybody. You have good grain in, the, uh, in your uh, warehouses providing. Right. Uh, now, okay, steps are being taken now for that. But secondly, what can be done was that you could have pushed uh, some income transfer scheme, some money into the hands of every household. Right. Like what we are doing in Kerala, okay, we are up, I mean, um, giving up front right. our pension so, payments. So, so you, we are you know, putting money very in the hands of points, the people, you see. Very important uh, you could points. Have, you could have asked, uh, right. look, look, at, look at Federal Reserve. Right, right, right. And I, I, I take your point entirely, sir. Or UN, UK, about as regulatory authority. Right, a, a direct cash yeah. transfer scheme, perhaps more announcements on the financial front. Hopefully those will come by uh, through the finance minister in the days ahead. But I think Kerala's work has been exemplary so far. And I think uh, if we can prevent the spread of coronavirus across the country, then we would win perhaps the battle of our lives. I'd like to thank you, Dr. Thomas Isaac, very much for being with us.